touching the truth. Hey, what is going on guys? I'm back with a brand new video today. I'm going to show you how you can animate in Photoshop CS6 or any other version of Photoshop. If you have any questions, let me know. And without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. To begin with, you want to go ahead and make a new document right there. Name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it Test. Now go to the little preset tab and go to Film and Video. This is very important. Make sure it's on this. Rescale it to 1920 by 1080 or whatever size you want. And then the resolution at 300 so you can have the max quality. And you want to press OK. Press OK one more time. Then go to Layer in the top left corner, right where all your other things are. Then go to Video Layer. Then a New Blank Video Layer. Now after that's done, you want to go to the very bottom and click Timeline. This is a quick overview, not that cool. And then go over to the very right and find these little things and enable Onion Skin. This allows it so the previous image that you've drawn is visible on the next layer. As you can see here, I'm just going to make a really quick animation of just this letter Z turning into a 7 and then turning into an arrow. But as you can see here, as I draw another frame, you can see the Onion Skin is in the background, so I can trace over it. This isn't the best way of animating, but it is certainly possible. Now I'm going to speed this footage up so you don't have to sit through my boring commentary that probably isn't inspiring and or helpful in any way. But as you can see, we are getting the animation done. Once you're done wasting your time, you want to go ahead and go to File right up there, and then go to Export, and to Video, Render Video, and name it to whatever you want. I'm going to name it like um, test video. Dude, original name. Then you want to either find a folder or make a brand new one just so all the photos can not be shoved into your desktop. I'm just going to name this one. One. Yeah. And you want to go ahead and press OK or I think it was render. Wait. There's one thing I forgot to do. At the very end, you have to go and shrink your little um, time bar thingy to the last frame. As you can see right there, there you go. Then you can go ahead and render it. Once in your editing software, go ahead and find the folder that you saved in Photoshop. There you go. You want to go ahead and get the first image and then click that little box right there and open it. And then that will ask you for the box. And then there's your video. As you can see here, it is the full animation. And you want to go ahead and double click on it and then render it out. And name it whatever you want. I'm obviously original. I'm going to name it like animation test or something render it and you have completely animated something with Photoshop. As you can see here, it's the best animation you've ever seen in your life. I don't think you could ever come close to it. Not even not even Disney could beat my high quality 40 whatever frames I made animation. If you enjoyed the video and you want to see more tutorials like this, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next video. Have a nice day. Bye.